One of our aims, as well as bringing people together within the community, was also to create a greater engagement with the outdoors and the environment. Um, and we also had this dream that um, people from this community would build their own facility together and they would learn along the way all those traditional and ecological techniques. When the farmhouse was to be renovated, well, we thought, well, we need a new home whilst that is happening. And some of the things we couldn't do the farmhouse ourselves. So we discussed building our own bothy, a shelter, a cabin, a place that would reflect those sort of Scottish traditions of going out to the bothies in the woods, but to have it here in the city. And by doing that, we could all learn together the techniques and we would build our own bothy, our own facility. So we were approached by Cedar about doing a self-build within the city. And so we opened up this old barn that previously had been a piggery and then a fire and for the cows. And we started to clear it. And over those years, we would work with people to design what type of boffy they would like to see, what materials, what techniques, what would be the purpose of it. And so we began the process of really working on the site. Volunteers have been involved in every single stage of that. And we've got over 40 volunteers and a regular core of maybe 15 or 20 people who come week in, week out to build this together. It's a diverse group from all different backgrounds. People of all walks of life and abilities and experiences all supporting each other and growing through that process as well. People have learned how to lay foundations. They've learned how to work with straw bales. learn lime render, clay render techniques. Timber frame building and frame raising. And all sorts of other skills that go along with that, as well as health and safety on a construction site and getting qualifications within that learning to work as a team, communication, and really building a strong community around this. There are so many other benefits that have come from this along the way. So many benefits to people's confidence, to their well-being, to their physical fitness, and to a strengthened community so far in the training. But once it's complete, there are so many things that will bring to the community, so many new uses. We're really excited about the Bothy completion. Once it's completed, the VIP club will have their new home. It means we'll have an enclosed natural sensory play garden which will offer the VIPs a safe space to explore. They'll have the freedom of choice of many activities that the space will offer them, such as musical instruments, mud kitchen, a movable water feature and many, many more things, like loose parts play. There have been so many different people who have helped along their way and have played their part in the development of this site. Arlene Sinclair helped us then and all the work of Cedar at the time to Simon and Duncan getting involved and then the many, many different volunteers that we, without the involvement of, the help of, the commitment of, this wouldn't have happened. It's an enormous community effort which was recognised by Voluntary Arts Scotland in the Epic Award that we'd won to see an old, derelict barn and to see what could be done with it and keep going at that to provide this new space and here we see a complete transformation of that and something new that will benefit people for many many years to come so we just want to invite people we want to invite you um, to come and enjoy the Bothy now we want you to come and enjoy and make use of the play area and we want you to get involved in other future projects here and make use of this space. Celebrate with us and we hope to see you here at Bridge End soon.